Papade, Chirana, and Halo Ogeta from the beautiful and sunny island of Guam, home to the 12th Festival of Pacific Arts. This is the first time Guam has hosted the festival and it's been a beautiful sight so far. Over 2,500 delegates from 25 Pacific Island nations and territories have joined together to showcase who we are, what we have, and what we own as united voices in the Pacific. Over the next half hour, we will share with you the color, the sights, and the sounds of the beautiful festival at locations throughout the island and at the main festival village in Hagatnya. But first, let's take a look at one of the ancient Chamorro traditions of fishing. There's a lot happening here at the 12th Festival of Pacific Arts in Guam, over 20 disciplines. And I've been told if you want to find out anything about Pacific traditional fishing, then the Sagan Katuran Chamorro is the place to be. I'm here with Ray, who's from Guam, and who has been fishing for as long as he can remember. Ray, um, first, thank you for your time. Could you tell us uh, about how important traditional fishing is to Chamorro culture? I'm half a day. I'm uh, Ray Veloria, and um, Actually, uh, I've been fishing since uh, I was a little boy. And the practices that we do here in Guam, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the people, they live uh, off the land and uh, the ocean. So we catch normally different type of fish to, uh, to sustain the family. Because back then, you know, uh, fishing, uh, was really sustainable uh, and you just catch really what you need in the water at the time. Yeah. You, you talk about um, traditional practices, what are some of these traditional practices? Well, we uh, normally uh, use the talaza, we call it uh, talaza nzotti, uh, it's a throw net. Uh, back then we used to use uh, the traditional type of uh, talaza made out of poxy. It comes from actually the pago tree. Uh, it's near the ocean. We normally skin the bark and we take out the material, we dry it, we make the rope too as well. Uh, but now we got the modern type of material which we use monofilament now uh, because they last longer. Tell us a bit about your demonstration for the visitors here today. Well, uh, this is a uh, talaza nzotti. It's a talaza throw net and uh, right now I'm making one. This is a four inch net talaza and uh, it's monofilament, uh, so this uh, is the type of uh, talaza I'm making now. What about the process involved in, in making the traditional rope for the netting material? Actually, we have to go to the sea hibiscus, the trees, and maybe you have to cut uh, long pieces, uh, maybe like 20 feet long, skin it, and uh, after we skin it, we have to get all the inner lining and we have to dry it out in the sun. Then after we dry it out in the sun, we start shredding it and we go to where the river is at and we wash the material to remove all the slime. And the process, it's a long, tedious process. And how long does uh, a net like this take? About three months, but if you, uh, maybe you can sew five hours a day, but it'll take maybe about 170 hours just to make one talata. That's with this material or with the traditional material? Both. It will even be longer with the traditional material because you have to make the rope. Yeah. Now you could just buy it, it's already made. You just sew, you have to sew. What do you think of um, the festival and uh, the opportunity to share some of uh, your skills with the other Pacific Island countries as well as learn from some of them? With uh, a lot of the other islands, I know they have their own techniques too as well. So do, so do we. Uh, we uh, have the stretch net, which we call a tekken, and the throw net. Uh, you know, some people, they go spear fishing, rod and reel. But uh, this is one way you can pick the fish you really want to catch. 
Do um, a lot of um, Chamorros still practice traditional fishing methods? Yes, yes? quite a few. I've read, uh, even the young generation now, that's what, that's what they love is the talada. Nobody wants to carry a, a lot of net no more. So a lot of people individually will go and catch what they want. I, yes, and at the same time, uh, if uh, all the other nations, if, if they're around, I don't mind to answer their questions about fishing and the techniques too, because I will want to learn some of their techniques as well.